Welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today we're going to sew our edging lace to the sides of the bonnet. I'm going to set the back piece aside just for a minute because I'm going to work with the top side piece first. Now this lace that I'm using, the edging lace, it's not Moline lace, but it does come from the same lace family as the insertion lace, so they blend with one another. Uh, as I mentioned, the insertion lace was directional. The flowers pointed in one direction. And as I look at this edging lace, the flowers point in one direction also. So right now I have the flowers all pointing where they're pointing upward. But as I'm looking at my bonnet, the flowers are pointing downward. So I'm going to turn my bonnet around. And so when I attach the lace to this side, the, light, the little flowers will all be pointing in the same direction. Okay, now I have my machine set for a zigzag. And up here at the top, because we're going to want to miter these corners, and since this lace is so narrow, um, normally, you know, I don't leave a lot, you know, but I'm going to leave about an inch of lace up at the top that I will not zigzag on. So I'll carefully bring this over to the sewing machine, leave my one inch up at the top, butt my lace together since I don't use a special lace attaching foot, lower my needle so that I make sure that I'm in the entredeau hole and not piercing it, and then butting my lace together, I'm just gonna slowly start to zigzag the lace to the entredeau ladder, making sure that I go in the ladder on one side and catch the header of the lace on the other side. Okay, now I'll be repeating this step on all four sides of the bonnet, along with three sides of the bonnet back so this will take me a minute to do. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave one inch hanging off of each end um, as I zigzag the, the lace edging to the entredeau. So this will take me a minute to do. Okay, so I have sewn the lace on on one side and I left about an inch at either end. Now, as I work on the other side, I need to look at the direction that my lace is going again. So I want all my flowers pointing in the same direction. So once again, I'm gonna leave about an inch up at the top uh, before I begin sewing it on um, and then zigzag down this side. You know, and I have made sure that my little flowers are all pointing in the same direction. Okay, so I have sewn my edging lace onto all four sides of the bonnet top and side and onto three sides of the bonnet back, making sure that my T is up here at the top. And I did not overlap by one inch up at the top because we won't be mitering up there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have a little four inch drafting triangle. Um, I'm going to set the drafting triangle where it's along the bottom edge of the lace and it lines up with the outside edge of the entredeau ladder. And using my water soluble pen, I'm gonna draw a 45 degree angle line at each of my four corners of the bonnet. Now, if you don't have a little drafting triangle, you can make one with just a piece of paper, just find a piece of paper that has a 90 degree angle, fold it at a diagonal and you can use that. But if you'd like to get a little drafting triangle, I will put a link down below that will take you directly to the little drafting triangle and you can order one because I use these little drafting triangles fairly regularly. You know, I use them for little straight edges. I use them for, you know, turning right corners and I also use them obviously for making these little 45 degree angle corners also. So let me finish doing my little 45 degree angle corners on this other end of the bonnet. And then we will go to the sewing machine and miter these corners.
Okay. Okay, so from the outside of the bonnet, I'm going to fold the bonnet at a 45 degree angle, line up my two pieces of lace, set my sewing machine back to a straight stitch, and very carefully, I'm going to sew along the blue line that I marked. I'll do that for all six of my little corners, so this will take me a minute to do. Just line up the lace, hold it in place, tack it up at the top and the bottom, and just go slow because this lace will bunch all up all over the place on you if you're not careful. Okay, so I've got one done. Clip my threads, and then I'm gonna carefully cut to where I've got about a one eighth of an inch seam allowance. So when I open it back up, and, and then I'll spray it with my distilled water in a little bit, because you can still see the blue line, but that makes a lovely little miter up at that corner of the bonnet. So I'll repeat this process one, two, three, four, five. I'll repeat this five more times. So that'll take me a minute. Okay, so our little corners are mitered and they look really, really nice. Okay, I've also, I've been to the ironing board and I sprayed my corners with distilled water to make the blue lines go away. Um, I also sprayed the letter T up at the top with some distilled water because in the next video, we will be attaching the bonnet back to the top side and I need to make a mark in the middle with my blue fabric marking pen and the letter T was kind of going to be out of the way. But that's what we'll be doing in the next project. But what we were doing today was attaching our edging lace and mitering the corners. And once again, I will include a link down below for a little four inch drafting triangle. Um, I really don't think they sell drafting equipment um, or at least not specialty drafting equipment at the big box stores, but you'll find having a little 45 degree, 90 degree triangle, it really comes in handy when you're sewing. So I'll include a link down below. But this is what we're doing today. Thank you.